to Mr. Severa here, principal of Joseph Case Junior High School, with a monumental Backyard Enrichment video. This is the 20th edition of the Backyard Enrichment video, something that I've committed to for the school closure to help bring a little learning from the backyard into the day every day. And hopefully we can learn something new every day. So as I said before, this is Backyard Enrichment video number 20. And we start our backyard enrichment videos every day with a little appreciation. Today, I would like to appreciate seventh grade special education teacher, Mrs. Aruda. Today's backyard enrichment video will have something to do with the garden. And I know that Mrs. Aruda uh, likes her garden. She likes her ornamental plants and has a beautiful yard um, for her family to enjoy. And I'm sure they're enjoying quite a bit of gardening and yard work during this time of school closure. So thank you, Mrs. Aruda, for all that you do. We appreciate you today and every day. Well. The weather is nicer today. Couldn't get much worse than yesterday. Rain and drizzle all day long. It's drying out today. It's a little bit breezy in the morning, still a little bit cold. But today, once your schoolwork is done and you have the things taken care of that you need to take care of inside the house, you can certainly get outside today, grab some exercise, and enjoy some drier weather than yesterday. Uh, we might have a couple of days of that coming up before a little more rain comes on in. Um, yesterday at, at our house, uh, we had a card game after dinner, a game of 99, and Mr. Silvera was victorious there. Uh, it was not a very good night for Mr. Silvera uh, at the card table. Um, we've also been playing a video game that we play, uh, iRacing, which is a racing simulation, and we had a big day yesterday. Cole won his first race. Actually, none of us have won a race until Cole did that today. So congratulations, uh, actually last night. So congratulations, Cole, on that. Uh, that was great. And today's a special day for us at the Silvera household. Today is Jake's birthday. So later on today, we will have a little birthday party. Uh, it'll just be us. And perhaps we'll invite some loved ones in virtually as well. Uh, so we celebrate Jake today uh, on his birthday. Thinking about today's backyard enrichment video, I was out in the yard yesterday and I came across what is an ornamental plant, one of Mrs. Silvera's favorite plants, and a wildly popular plant in this area and all over, I imagine, as you must see in your yard and your neighbor's yards, and we see them all the time. And what do we know about them? Very interesting. So let's take a look just below me in the garden here at the hosta. Hosta is a genus of plants commonly known as hostas, plantain lilies, and occasionally by the Japanese name goboshi. Hostas are widely cultivated as shade-tolerant foliage plants. The genus hosta originated in East Central China. The most basal members of the group can still be found growing there today. From its Chinese origin, the genus migrated throughout Asia into Korea and Russia, and even crossed ancient land bridges into what is now the Japanese archipelago. European explorers would often task Japanese locals to collect plants for them. The genus was named for Austrian botanist Leopold Tratanik in 1812 in honor of the Austrian botanist Nicholas Thomas Host. Hostas are herbaceous perennial plants growing from rhizomes or stolons with broad leaves varying widely in size by species from 1 to 18 inches long and 1 to 12 inches broad. The smallest varieties are called miniatures. Variation among the numerous varieties is even greater, with clumps ranging from less than 4 inches across and 3 inches high to more than 6 feet across and 4 feet high. Leaf color in wild species is typically green, although some species are known for a waxy leaf coating that gives a blue appearance to the leaf. Natural mutations of native species are known with yellow, green, gold colored leaves or with variegation either white, cream, or yellowish edges or centers. The flowers of hosta are produced on upright, non-woody, leafless segments called scapes that remain on the plant throughout winter. They are generally taller than the leaf mound and end in terminal racemes. The individual flowers are usually pendulous, one to two inches long, white, lavender, or violet in color, and usually scentless. Hostas are America's most popular perennial garden plant for very simple reasons. Hostas are one of the few plants that thrive in shade and are extremely easy to care for and propagate. Unlike many perennials that must be laboriously lifted and divided every few years, hostas are content to simply grow in place without much interference at all. If you do want to propagate them, hostas are among the very easiest of plants to split and share with others. A very small piece of root 
It all, is all it takes to create a new plant. There are nearly 45 varieties of hosta. Young hosta leaves are edible, known as yuri in Japan. They're commonly boiled, fried in tempura, or eaten raw. The flavor is similar to lettuce and asparagus. Hosta leaves and stems are eaten by deer, rabbits, slugs, and snails, and the roots and rhizomes are eaten by voles. All of these can cause extensive damage to collections in gardens. Like I said, this is one of Mrs. Silvera's favorite plants. We have lots of them. We continue to split them up and spread them around the yard. It makes a beautiful ground cover. We'll be able to update this later on in our backyard enrichment series as these plants grow and eventually flower. Take a look around in your yard, in your neighbor's yard, and you will see lots of hostas. Again, very popular in our area and around the country. Welcome to the backyard enrichment video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back with you tomorrow for the 21st edition of the backyard enrichment video. Have a good day, everybody. Remember, we are all cardinals. Thank you.